Alright guys, welcome to another self-isolation, uh, self-isolating beer review. And uh, today we're going over to Mikola and uh, this is a can of the uh, Cocoa Shake. Uh, oatmeal stout brewed with vanilla and cocoa beans and this is actually barrel aged in a, a bis uh, whiskey vanilla rum barrel um, so it's a collaboration between Mikola and Phantom Spirits as you can see there on the can now I think there is a little bit of a story to this um, or I get this mixed up with another beer that I had recently which was a beer barrel aged in a barrel that was used for another barrel from the same barrel. I think it was a cloud water beer that I've got but um, yeah so uh, I'm not sure if um, if it's a multi-barrel thing or they aged it in one barrel then put it to another barrel I can't remember it's been a been a wee while since um, they uh, did the video and announced this and I thought yeah while the world's going to shit um, and people are going ape shit I thought I'd have a few beers while I'm self isolating keep myself from going absolutely fucking insane um, so yeah What's the ABV on this? 11%. So yeah, big fan of the uh, the Beer Geek series. Probably Mikola's sort of like um, the yeah, most well regarded uh, series of beers that they do. And there we go. Look at that pour. And look at how dark both the beer and that head is. Let's give this well add the rest in Whoa, look at that. that's probably the darkest head that I've seen on a beer uh, it's not that much uh, lighter than the beer itself it's like chocolate mousse chocolate mousse on top and jet black oily looking stout underneath looking fantastic in the Bickler beer club glass from which this beer came from referral link down below I'll never get in a position where I would do like sponsored content because it'd be really shit and nobody would, you know, click on my affiliate links and stuff. But anyway, uh, yeah, oh God, that's looking so good. So let's see what we get on the nose. Oh, that smells decadent. First of all, chocolate, just melted, melted chocolate. You get that slight bourbon, or is it bourbon, or is it whiskey? Yeah, it's got that whiskey aroma. I'm not by no mean, no means an expert on whiskey, bourbon, and that sort of thing. Slight rum in there as well. A little bit of an oaky barrel. It's it's all the stuff you you're reading on the label. But it doesn't smell harsh or boozy or anything like that. can't get the, the image out of melted milk chocolate out of my head. Oh, we don't have any chocolate in the house either. Fuck. Oh, that smells so good. Mm, it's like chocolate cake batter as well. And you've poured a little bit of rum in there. Lovely fresh vanilla pod carrots coming through as well. Like vanilla custard almost. That's just smelling so good. Usually with these beers, the sort of like um, the barrel aged spirit element just like completely overrides. But this, it's just, it's such a robust beer, yet harmonious, and it smells fantastic. So I think we should just uh, stop waffling on and just get stuck into it. Cheers, everyone. Hope everyone's staying safe. Well, by the time this gets uploaded, the like, what? What's a coronavirus? Cheers, guys. There's one word 
that sums this pair up perfectly. Balance. You don't get an overriding whiskey flavour. You don't get an overriding rum flavour. You don't get an overriding sweetness. But you are getting a little bit of rum, a little bit of whiskey, a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of vanilla, a lovely roasted malt character. Mm. It's actually a really laid back and easy drinking beer, and it has no right to be. Oh, creamy mouthfeel, chocolate milk. But Paul from Pierre Brunus would still say it's a bit thin. The more I'm drinking it, the more actually the whiskey is slightly building up the whiskey like character in there. But, um, oh, bit of knee. Warmth as it goes down. This is the sort of beer you need when you're self isolating. Or when you're feeling under the weather. I mean, I'm perfectly fine. Um, it was just more precautionary with uh, family members and that sort of thing. <sighs> By the way, the, the reviews that I've been recording recently, I think I've mentioned the fucking C word in every one. And it's starting to get a little bit tiresome. But yeah, this is a beer where you shut the curtains, which they uh, already are shut. You pull up your covers... Put some TV on, or a film, or something like that. Relaxation sounds. Maybe you go into my free cams or only fans. Whatever you want to do when you're just having a you day. You could even put your coffee, your coffee latte face mask on if you wanted to, and enjoy this in a in a bath with a bath bomb, if you're so well inclined. Uh, yeah, it's just a, it's a, it's a me beer. Do you know what I mean? It's like you day, but in beer form. Mm. I could actually imagine this taste and having a nice character to it, like a little bit chilled down, so you get a little bit more of that creamy milk character. I've got enough Canada, so I might do that with that one. But at the same time, you can make like a really nice chocolate sauce with this. Put it into a chocolate cake batter as well. Yeah, I mean, I'm just amazed at how high quality the bourbon and the rum is. Without it being too in your face. Um, and I think this beer has been in the making for quite a while. So, you know, you could rest this for even longer if you wanted to. And I can only see it getting silkier and smoother and more rounded um, as you, you do leave it. But I can't I can't hold beer for more than like one or two years, so I'll probably end up drinking this the other can of it in the next few months, probably, knowing me. But yeah. This is a really good beer, and it's been probably one of the best beer geek beers that I've had um, for a little while. Because uh, the, the last ones that I've had, they've had like loads of maple in, and I'm just like, oh, maple in beer, so boring. It's not for me. Although that being said, I did have a can of the uh, the Beer Geek breakfast. You know, just the, the standard version. And that was, that was so good. Just, it's such a good stout. First and foremost, it's an absolutely amazing stout. And uh, some of the different versions and uh, that Beer Geek brunch that I had from Nicola San Diego. Holy fuck, that's like been one of the best beers I've ever had. This doesn't quite hit those heights. But I think someone who likes the spirits um, and knows a hell of a lot more uh, about both beer and spirits uh, than I do, which, let's, let's face it, doesn't take much. I think you, you'll absolutely be over the moon with this. It's so decadent. It's reminded me of like melted down uh, Reason chocolates, if that's how they're pronounced. There's a slight berryness coming from that rum almost. And the, the whiskey just... Yeah, I'd say out of the, the, 
the the flavors the whiskey sort of just you know like yeah that's what the whisk that's essential what the whiskey is doing it's it's a, somehow got a voice and vocal cords and it's like a yeah just pips it to the post in terms of uh noticeable flavors i've said some really stupid sentences in this uh video but mm. that's gorgeous that's lovely lovely stuff and it's like motor oil it's like you've watered down a little bit of tar and uh, do you know what i'm due to go outside to have a cigarette i think it's going to be a nice combination mm, i like that yeah, so the, the one good thing about this uh, self-isolation thing is nobody can really kick off at me for having a few beers each day, do you know what I mean? Because how else am I going to pass the time? But yeah, that's lovely stuff. Uh, so in terms of a rating then, um, I'm going to give the Beer Geek Cocoa Shake Phantom Spirits a 9 out of 10. Very nice indeed. Um, I think if there was maybe a little bit more sweetness, um, I'd probably bulk bump that up to a 10 out of 10. Or a little bit more chocolate. Because you get more chocolate on the nose than you do on the flavour, which is not a disappointment, because you can't say a beer is 9 out of 10 and that there's disappointing elements to it. But if you just had a little bit more of a milk chocolate character, uh, mm. I think... That, that would just elevate this to a perfect 10 out of 10. But um, yeah, either way, this is definitely a beer that you have to pick up and try for yourselves. Uh, best for us, the 30th of October 2024. Um, mm. But yeah, lovely stuff. And I do like the uh, the artwork um, for Phantom Spirits. I've always liked that slight Germanic you know, typography. And I love their logo as well. So uh, yeah. I need to start properly getting into like artisanal spirits and stuff like that. So uh, I'll be definitely looking into them. So uh, if you've tried it, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. Um, if you've tried any of the uh, other iterations of this beer, thoughts, recommendations. And if you've actually tried anything from uh, Phantom Spirits, I'd love to hear your thoughts, opinions as well. So uh, yeah, pick, as I said, from the Mickle Beer Club box. So if you're interested to receive beers like this every month then my referral link is down below it's not over there it's down there uh, i can't use my hand properly apparently but i can use my right hand properly but anyway you fucking idiot nine out of ten lovely beer links in the description check out mickle and check out my ever-growing mickle playlist thank you guys for watching and i shall hopefully see you all later cheers